This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the platform that helps host your creativity and turn it into something more. Hi ma'am, good afternoon po. Dave here from Battle Pass Tech Parts here. Cooler RAM motherboard and case knives. I decided to get myself a brand new PC build because I've been wanting to stream my gameplay onto Twitch or YouTube. Oh wait, I'm out of breath. Crankcase. Okay. This video is mainly just me showing all of the external upgrades I've made so that I can improve the quality of the streams that I put out. I'll be leaving all my specs in the description down below. Oh, it's so pretty! Wait. So here's the front. Yes. Ah, here's the back. Before using all my social media as a personal one for me and my YouTube and all that stuff, I used to use it to advertise my art and my commissions. Now, instead, I can use squarespace.com to host my portfolio in order for potential clients to see the work that I can do. No need to worry about anything, you can just click on a template and it will create a beautiful layout for you. Here's a sample of one of their templates with all of my artwork on there. And what I really like is that Squarespace gives you in-depth analytics in order to see how people interact with your content. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, or if you want 10% off on a domain or website, you can go to squarespace.com slash chani. Since I've been playing a lot more on my PC, specifically FPS games, I decided to go ahead and upgrade my monitor that was capped at 60 hertz. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Asus VP249. It's a 144 hertz display with an IPS panel. I would 100% highly recommend getting a higher refresh rate monitor. I'm telling you, it's really different. Like you may not feel the change immediately, but once you go from 144 back to 60, you can. Now this was a purchase I was really excited about. Unfortunately, it did not meet my expectations. You see, my previous headset was about half the price of these ones. And so I was hoping to see a bigger upgrade. Maybe, maybe that's my fault for having higher expectations. The build quality of this is pretty decent. It's very beautiful to look at. And what I really like is that it's super lightweight. So you won't feel any strain on your head, even if you have glasses like me. But uh, like, if you look at this foam portion, yeah, it feels a little cheap and it looks a little cheap at times. Now I had been eyeing the Razer Siren Mini for so long and I'm so so glad to be able to have it now because everyone was right, it's pretty amazing quality for a pretty good price. Of course, we can't also deny that it's really cute and it's pink, so of course I had to buy it. This is what it's going to look like all put together. It's very pretty. However, I wanted to have a mic arm for it in order to get the best possible audio. So just take note, if you want to get a stand, it needs to have a 5.8 screw. Here's just a little peek at what my setup looks like right now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.